Anthony, where do we start? Well, <laughs> in the end, we lifted the trophy for a record-breaking 14th time. Yeah, and look, that's the most important thing, Rebs, and credit to everyone, all the staff, all the players, everyone involved during the season. To, to lift it with these amount of points in front to be where we are and to do it, I think, with is it seven games to go maybe, is, is a great achievement having not won the league for the last, this would have been the third season. So to get back to it was good. That was our target at the start of the season and we're just really happy to do that. And he didn't look good at the break. I've already interviewed Paul Harrison. <laughs> I asked him what your mood was going into the dressing room. He said you weren't happy. Yeah, no, we weren't. I, mean, I thought we were second best. I thought Penny Bond deserved their 2-0 lead. And we had one or two chances where we could have scored. But, yeah, we didn't play well. I didn't think we passed the ball well. We didn't match up physically well. And, yeah, we weren't happy with, with how we played. But I'd, I'd say this about the group time and time again. We just showed the character, the desire, the determination to come back into it. And, and once we got that first goal, I thought we would get another one, and we did. And we're still a little bit disappointed that we lost, that we sorry that we drew three three. But look, all, all in all, to come back two 0 down at half time is amazing from the players. So they deserve all the credit for that. In football, we often use the term inspired substitution. Well, it was in the plural because you made a couple of changes at the break and both of the players went on to score and ultimately secure that point that was needed by TNS. Yeah, no, look, I mean, Ash Baker come in and done ever so well. He hasn't probably played as much game time as what he wanted, but I thought he was aggressive. He was on the front foot today and really pleased he got his goal. I thought Ben Clark made a big difference coming on too. Um, it was a shame that, that um, Astles got injured, so, so he had to come off. But look, sometimes they, they work for you, the substitutions. But it's a credit to the lads who, whether they're starting or whether they're finishing the game, they're showing the correct attitude and they're ready to come in and play. So there's plenty that missed out today as well that we need to mention, like John Routledge, who's been outstanding this season. He's been fantastic. And Ryan Brobble as well, who didn't play. Blaine Hudson, who's been in and around it too. And everyone who's played a part, but those ones in particular who did miss out today. 2-0 down at the break then going into a 3-2 lead. How disappointing was it to then go on to concede a third goal? Yeah, do you know what it was? Yeah, I thought it would have been the, the, the icing on the cake, really, if we could have won the game 3-2. And we were disappointed that we conceded, especially from a set play. It did make it a little bit nervy at the end. But the important thing was a big crowd today, lots of people here, lots of celebrations. And we're just pleased that we got the job done. We're still unbeaten home record. Um, here, I think we've won every game but one, including in Europe, so the, the draw today. And look, we'll take that. That's an amazing achievement this season. So we're, we're just happy to get that job done and get the title back. And we've talked about Paul Harrison quite a lot in recent weeks. Yeah. For the third game mm. on the bounce, he pulled off a massive save in the dying seconds. Yeah, no, listen, credit to him. And, and he, he's been fantastic all, all week and, and all season, really. And a massive help, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. He's been fantastic. So... Yeah, he, he has. He's pulled out saves in the last few games and you could argue that that's his job, but he hasn't been too busy until the last three weeks. But no, he's been excellent. They've been, they've been top draw saves as well, so fair play to him. And then we do play next weekend, a departure from the JD Cymru Premier. We play Colwyn Bay in the JD Welsh Cup. Yeah, look, and we got a lot of respect for them. They've come up with one, if not two, upsets, playing, beating teams that are higher above them. Um, we'll be starting our research on them tomorrow once the celebrations finish tonight. But yeah, look, it, it, that could arguably, I think, be one of our toughest games of the season. I think on a grass pitch, we're not sure of the condition of the pitch against a really good side, good from set plays, physically aggressive. I think it'll be a really hard one and hopefully a big crowd there. And I think everyone will be supporting them but, and not supporting us. So we'll have everything against us. But we really want to push on and we want to try and make a final and add to the silverware that, that, that we've got today. I think that's a big motivating factor for us. And Anthony, in your time at Park Hall, you've made a lot of friends, a lot of fans, but you had two particular supporters here today, your wife and your young son. And it was your son, Buddy, his yeah. second birthday. So what a great day for him to remember. Yeah, it was. This and we'll remember that forever and probably felt the pressure for my wife more than anything, I think. We had a family party planned today, but we actually changed that and moved it. I'm not sure the family were too happy, but 2-0 down at half time, I thought we might have to be coming back for to, to lift the cup again. But no, really pleased that they were here and family is the most important thing, more, more important than any football game or any title. And it's great to have them here and share it with me and, and yeah, really wish them all the best. As always, thank you for your time talking to Club Media and massive congratulations to you, the staff and the players on securing the 14th JD Cymru Premier title. Thank you, Rose. Cheers.